Welcome back to the channel, folks. In this episode, we'll be installing a boondocks landing gear on our Old Town Kayak Topwater PDL 106. As you all know, when I go to the boat ramp and try to unload my boat, it's quite difficult to just take it off from the trailer and then position it onto the boat ramp. But in this situation, I feel that I think we need a uh, much more uh, reliable dolly or cart to do that. So let's go ahead and install it and learn installing it together. Our boondocks landing gear comes with almost everything. I got this from Echo Shop, same shop where I got my Old Town PDL 106. The landing gear comes with a hardware. It also comes with the metal bracket that we will use to attach the landing gear onto our kayak. The only thing that doesn't come with it is the track system. It comes with a pin. It comes with the metal bracket. I think it has a total of four metal brackets. It comes with a bungee cord. It also comes with, of course, the tires. What I like about this tires is that it's the sea tug tires. It comes with two knuckles and two legs. It also comes with a space bar and of course your instruction manual. Our first step here is to install the kayak track mount. I got this Yak Attack aluminum track mount system and it's strong enough to hold the landing gear in the weight of the boat. I chose to install the landing gear a few inches from the kayak's rear rod holder because I think this is where it will not obstruct the kayak's rudder lever. Up next is to install the T-bolt and the mounting bracket. So the next step here is to install the two knuckles and the space bar. You gotta make sure that the two holes are facing your kayak. Up next is to install the track nut. There will be two track nuts installed on each side. You have to simply slide it in the knuckle bar. So once the track nut is in place, Pick up the lock washer, flat washer, and your button head screw and start installing them. So at this point, I'm just using my fingers to tighten the screw. Once you're done on one side, I'll have to do the same steps on the other side of the kayak. To get the right measurement of the space bar, I placed one of the legs and flushed it right at the end of the knuckle. This will give me an idea of how long my space bar will be before I start cutting to the appropriate length. So from here, I'll start marking the spot where the legs will flush nicely on the knuckle. Once that is done, 
I will use the leg and mark where I will make my cut using a hacksaw to come up with the appropriate length for my space bar. Then I'll start putting the small nuts inside the two holes of each knuckle. It took us a while to get the space bar cut with the appropriate length. So this time I'm having my young helper assist me complete the final steps. And in here, we're trying to install the tires and use the lock pins to ensure that's all in place. We're almost done here. We're just trying to tighten up the small nuts that is part of the knuckles. And there you have it, our finished product. The Boondocks landing gear installed on our Topwater 106 PDL kayak. <laughs>